Now, your storm track weather with Chief Meteorologist Matt Miller. We continue to track areas of rain moving in. We just really need none of it, to be quite honest. Unfortunately, we have more on the way. And a flash flood watch is in effect for all of the viewing area through tomorrow morning. And any amount of rain that comes in automatically just runs off the ground. It's completely saturated at nearly all locations. You can see the rain moving through central Kansas, heaviest just to the north and west of Wichita near Newton. That will continue to move to the east and slightly to the northeast giving us another round of rain later on this evening. We do have a couple of showers that have developed ahead of it near Hiawatha, north central uh, portions right now of Pottawatomie County to the west of Havensville, and then a few more showers across Dickinson County. We'll see a, a couple of hit and miss showers around, but what we are looking at are rivers running high. This was sent to me from Daryl, one of our viewers uh, along the Wakarusa River. You can see all that kind of flooded, normally a fairly small creek, but it's going out into the, uh, the wooded areas around the creek as well. And that's pretty typical of a lot of the creeks and rivers. A lot of county roads are impassable in places that go near water. So again, it's just a, a right now more of a nuisance, but some areas becoming a little bit more of a challenge when it gets up into populated areas. Emporia right now is dry. It's currently dry in Junction City. Enjoy this little break from the rainfall while it lasts. The clouds are darkening, as you can see in Manhattan, as the rain gets closer. Still mostly cloudy, though, in Topeka. We've warmed up into the lower 70s. We're back down to 72. Picked up more than an inch of rain again today, and that adds in to all of these rains that we've had since Sunday. 73, the high temperature today. That's pretty close to average, a little bit warmer than average on the low. We're about to have a cold front come through late this evening and into tonight. Brings another round of rain in to add to what we already had. Emporia had nearly another two inches of rain. They had more than two inches of rain in Lyon County yesterday. Two inches uh, or a little bit more than that at Manhattan Airport, an inch and a half at Fort Riley. Again, these are all added to what we've already had. That's why many areas have seen three to seven inches of rain during the week so far. Temperatures are up into the 70s over the eastern counties, still holding in the low to mid 60s to the northwest. Cooler air is starting to move in, and the winds are turning to the northwest at Marysville and Concordia. And as that colder air moves in tonight, the winds will turn in all directions at about 15 miles per hour to the north and northwest. Now, this going to be a much chillier wind heading late tonight and into the daytime tomorrow. Again, rain is moving in, scattered showers out ahead of the main round of rain, but this system will continue to lift off to the north and east. There is still a little bit more of it out over the four corners that will slide to the east, give us a lot of cloud cover and cooler weather tomorrow, but only a slight chance for showers. By 11 o'clock, the bulk of the rain is pushing away and through and we'll be left with a cloudy sky almost all day tomorrow. Maybe a couple of stray showers, but not much rain tomorrow. Just a much chillier Thursday, clearing out late Thursday evening and into early Friday. So for tonight, we're looking at passing areas of showers coming in. 46, rain early, turning much cooler. Some areas will drop even cooler than that, perhaps even into the mid-40s area-wide. Don't forget, you can always hop onto our KSNT Storm Track weather app if you've got it on your phone and get this hour-by-hour -hour look. Those temperatures in the 40s and 50s with gusty northerly winds, making for a very chilly day tomorrow. Here's how it's shaping up for the next few days. 54 with a 20% chance of showers. Beautiful weather for Friday, few showers on Saturday, and then Mother's Day rolls around with partly cloudy and 72 with upper 70s into early next week and maybe a few more showers or storms by the middle portion of next week. But watch out tonight. Another round of heavier rain this evening could lead to some flooding rains, especially over those areas already with high water. We'll